Welcome guys from my studio Copelli. Look at this. Look at this the setup. Today it's special because uh, I put everything set up. One, two, three. Four, and the special pizza is going to be at the end. So today, before we say everything, come with me, come with me. I'll show you this, uh, where we are. We're in the back because we cannot fit the pizza oven. Take a look of this view behind there is downtown. This is an, the bar. That's where we're going to set up the pizzas back there on the table. And uh, let's go back there because it's too many people here, too much loud, too much music. So let's go. I want to focus. I want to focus on you. So let's go. I didn't say yet. I'm going to show you five best pizzas, guys. The five best combinations. Take a pen. Write it down. The best pizza of Maestro Itio Copelli. One, two, three, four, five. I'm telling you, these five pizzas, they're going to be outstanding, unique, fantastic. There's a lot of things going on in this video. The pizza dough. I went to a party and then something happened and then uh, where we are today so watch until the end guys go ahead subscribe down there below we are almost there for now enjoy this video and thank you so much for watching here you go guys it's 9 a.m the day before the event starts right now we're gonna go ahead and place uh, the pizza oven see it's right here in place uh, at the location so let's go ahead let's get ready let's get this beast and then uh, we're gonna go ahead and shopping and tomorrow or tonight we're gonna go ahead and get ready with the old ingredients so let's get this pizza oven and let's put it in place yes Whew. and after one hour we finally arrive at the location here's a mess truck everywhere we are in the art of Beverly Hills now let's go park this beast and see us figure out how can we make this happen today it's gonna be difficult and different Let, let's figure out this out I'm gonna try to put the pizza oven in this space right there or there we'll see let me let me figure out for now let's get this uh, uh, pizza oven inside now we need to straight up this uh, pizza oven you guys can help a little bit we're gonna push straight this up uh, can you guess? Be, yeah, I'm, uh, I got it my audio gear, a truck, I'm, I'm happy to help. Fantastic, my friend. One, two, three, three. Okay, go. Put it back there. Yeah. Right now? Yeah. Tell you push, okay? One, so the two, push. So the camera's on the red carpet. I have to figure out. Okay, stop. Stop, stop. Hold it, okay? Yeah. So now we're gonna go yeah. like that. Problems. We have two inches off the brick right now. We can keep going two inches. Okay, perfect. Okay, we're good. We made it. We made it. <laughs> the oven is in place, like I say. One inch is on the on the tire. From there. Boom. Of course, we already went to get some flour, American flour, Italian flour. Now let's go ahead and shop in for tomorrow. guys once we have uh, big caterings that's what i like to go on smart time final they have like a big quantity of uh, food this way i can uh, buy multiple things in one package so a lot of things tomorrow we have 300 people we have to make a lot of pizzas so let's go get some ingredients are you ready are you ready she's learning the art here is the organic produce so we're gonna go ahead and get some some of those we need three of those rapini. Okay guys, we got everything done. We got all the shopping that we need. Boom, boom, boom. And now let's go ahead and we're gonna prep everything. And tomorrow morning, I'm gonna actually I'm gonna do some Polish, and then tomorrow morning I'm gonna do the uh, the pizza dough. And you, you'll see, you'll see so many things here. <laughs> Believe it or not, in between I go to the gym because we need some battery charge. Let's go back to the preparation. Woo! Okay, guys, good morning. You know I'm doing so many things in preparation and everything. I'm trying to get everything for you. So now it's time to make the dough. So let's go ahead. We got some Polish here. We're gonna make this dough 
four times. I prepared yesterday two liters of Polish, two kilos of flour, five grams of yeast, five grams of honey. Then we're gonna add six liters of water, really cold, 360 grams of salt, and the rest is gonna be flour, and a little bit of olive oil. I'm gonna make it four times, but I'm gonna show you, of course, just one time, otherwise this video is gonna, it's not gonna end. I don't wanna keep you long. So let's get started. Let's put the Polish inside the dough machine, right away, really quick. Right now, take a look, that's why I separate the two uh, water. So we're gonna add the, the three liters on this, with the salt, melt the salt. We need to do 1,450 times eight because that's the liter of water. So we got 11 kilos and 600 grams. The minus the two kilos that we put on the Polish. So right now we need nine kilos and 600 grams of flour. That's pretty much it. We're gonna add the three liters first. Start the machine at the slow speed until it gets everything together. Okay guys, the dough is all together, you can see. Now it's time to go ahead and uh, speed number two. See, the dough, uh, the dough machine is going uh, hard. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, add a little bit of water, little by little. So we don't wanna put all together. So make sure every time you put uh, like a cup of water, let it, the water integrate. Otherwise, you're not gonna be able to build the gluten. The secret is how you make the dough, not the recipe. So learn from my channel, it's totally free. Go ahead, share with friends. Until all this water is absorbed, so usually it takes about 15 to 20 minutes. I'll see you when the dough is almost finished. The dough is ready, it's got a little bit of, uh, little bit of uh, olive oil on your hands. And now let's take it all out. Okay, so now we're gonna get it and form a big bowl. Okay. okay, oil on top, like that. There we go. So we're gonna go ahead and cover it. Voila. And uh, wait 30 minutes and then we're gonna go ahead and uh, reboil it again until it's nice and smooth. And then we're gonna go ahead and let it rest for uh, one hour. In the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and make more dough, and then we are ready to make the balls. And it is uh, 10.30 a.m., of course. I just finished to edit this video last night, and now I'm uploading. Look at this. And uh, everything in between, because we're gonna get ready. We have everything. Get ready with ingredients. Oh my God, some, a lot of things it's to do. It's two o'clock. We have everything ready right there. Look at this, the pizza dough. Right there, the all the ingredients. Fantastic, everything is ready, but we have uh, a couple of uh, issues here. We are super late, and uh, the other thing is that I think we're gonna move the oven. We have a couple of issues about where we put the pizza oven yesterday. They text me, they say, we have to move it. Hopefully I can make this, uh, this happen today. Put everything on top. And of course, we put everything inside because we're gonna turn it on the air conditioner and we have more in the back. Let's go to the location, super late. Five o'clock starts, and uh, right now it's, uh, it's 2 p.m. We got three hours, one hour to get there. Let's move on, let's move on. Okay guys, we have arrived super, super late. The traffic here killed me, 3.15 p.m. Oh my God, we have a problem right there too, the oven. Oh. Hopefully we can make this happen guys. It's, we are super late already. We're supposed to be here one hour ago. This is the situation here. We are uh, uh, super late, it's 3.30. We're gonna fire up the oven here where we're doing. Put in the pizza oven. We have a uh, so little space, so we have to move this oven back here with the fire. We're gonna fire up the oven. It usually takes uh, two hours to warm up. So we're gonna go ahead and run, run fast. This is the pizza dough, like you can see. It's nice and ready. Guys, unfortunately, unfortunately, too much loud here, too much less time right now. It's, it's, we have only one hour and 30 minutes to get everything ready. So unfortunately, unfortunately, too, the space is too tight. We, so, we got so much to do. Tomorrow I have another event, big one. And then I'm gonna get ready everything again tonight and tomorrow morning. I'm gonna finish this video tomorrow morning, uh, tomorrow on the other party. So tune in, stay, stay with me, stay until the end because uh, so much to do. I'm sorry, guys. Of course, 
As you see, we are ready right now. One hour and a half late, unfortunately. Look at this. People waiting for. Bye, 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 bye. People waiting for in line and everything. So, unfortunately, I cannot do the video today. But tomorrow, so stay tuned because tomorrow we have a new setup, new party. So. I'll see you tomorrow. And here you go, guys. Good morning. Like you can see right there, it's about uh, 11 30 and uh, it's uh, the next day. Of course, I got everything done, ready. I didn't have any time. Sorry, guys. So yesterday was uh, 1, 1 a.m. I finished, and uh, uh, today is gonna be another big event. So I show you what, what we got. Here we got the dough already made nice just a little bit less than yesterday everything is inside we got the wood we're gonna go ahead and get the pizza oven and start the next party let's go here we go guys we have arrived to the location now it's time to pick it up Guys, I got an idea. We are 15 minutes away and the, if you have a wood burning oven, follow this tip. Grab two pieces of wood, not so many, just two. Come here, come here. Okay, the oven is still warm from last night. It's around 350 Fahrenheit. Uh, yeah, 350 Fahrenheit. Be careful this car. And then put this inside. We'll see in 15 minutes it's gonna warm up that better and I want to show you later but uh, let's go let's go in the car before we get run over Wow guys you have to see this we are we have arrived a little bit of issue to get in this pizza oven but uh, we're gonna get the oven inside there we'll see we'll see how we get then okay this is gonna be fun to get this pizza oven inside there show sure, show sure where we're gonna go <laughs> yeah, you're right. No, 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 pasta. Okay. It, okay. it makes it. It makes it like that. Yeah, yeah. Okay, bye. Vai un po', raddrizza, spau! Stop, raddrizzalo! We got few inches, few inches more, and we can fire up this pizza oven. Okay, done. We made it! We made it! Fire up the oven before we do the whole setup because it takes, uh, probably takes another um, an hour to fire up. So did you see the piece of wood that we had inside the oven? This wood is already warm up in just 15 minutes, so. Take a look what happened. So if you have a pizza oven at your house and uh, it's wood, go ahead and fire up. Always remember to uh, to warm up the, pit, the wood. This way it's gonna be super easy to fire up. And then if it's not, uh, if it's not warm, it's easy, you just put pieces of wood small and then it's gonna get catch on fire, little by little. That is warming up, let's put a couple of pieces of wood uh, warming up. Let's wait the oven, the catch on fire, and then we're gonna wait the, when it's at around 650, we are ready to use and make pizza. So now, let's make this setup. Enjoy. The setup uh, is going to be in the front house because uh, the view that this house has it's outstanding. This is one of the most beautiful houses in Los Angeles. Okay guys, so voila, we are set up, everything ready. Unfortunately, we cannot set up in the front because there's so much, too many people, too loud. I wanna be focused on you to this. So let's check it out. The first thing to do here, check out if the pizza oven is at the temperature that we want to. So right now we just passed the 700. You can see that we have uh, everything ready. We got place one, two, three, four, five, everything in order. The pizza dough is nice and strong. That's what we want. Guys, I just made one uh, just to test and the pizza look outstanding. Soft and crunchy. So now we are totally ready to see, to see the five best pizzas. So let's go ahead, let me start with the first, to take the dough out from the box. Like you can see here, that's it, that's how you take the dough out 
from the box. A little bit in the flour. I'm gonna show you a little, little quick. I'm gonna teach you how to make the pizza, first of all. So press the air to the crust and then back and then flip it over and then one more time. Press, press, press. Ta, 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 ta. And now flip it over one more time. Now one end you hold, you press and you pull. You press, you pull. You press, you pull. You press, you pull. Dun, 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 dun. Voila. I'm excited to show this combination of ingredients. Voila, number one, base of uh, tomato sauce. There we go, fresh mozzarella. This pizza, we're gonna go ahead and put, uh, believe it or not, the pastrami, guys. I tasted yesterday, it's outstanding the flavor of this pizza. Done, Parmesan cheese, a little bit, not too much. Extra virgin olive oil, voila. Ready to go in the oven and we're gonna finish this pizza at the end. Pinch it and then put the peel under. Now make it big because the size is gonna be 12 inches. This is a 280 grams dough ball. Let's go and cook this pizza in a wood burning oven. Bam! Voila! We cook it for about one minute and a half. The pizza is about to be ready. One, two, three. I mean, take a look of this pizza. Voila! That's it. <laughs> That's the goal of my channel. It needs to be soft and crunchy. I mean, take a look of the pastrami. Outstanding. So now, a little bit lightly of arugula on top. Not too much, we wanna show the pastrami. Here we go, now the secret touch. We're gonna go ahead and put a little bit of ricotta cheese on top. Let's place it on the plate and let me show you. This is the first pizza of the five. Tell me what you think at the end of this video. We're gonna taste it all. Here we go, number two coming out. This is gonna be for the spicy lovers, this pizza. Stretch everything, voila. And guys, remember, all these pizzas I've been testing with the customers and myself. I'm gonna put a little bit of ghost peppers as a base. This is a ghost pepper sauce extra. Look at this of this sauce. This is made with a little bit of Parmesan cheese, ghost peppers. Ghost pepper is this. This is the ghost pepper, super spicy. A caramel as onions, as a base, this way it makes it a little bit sweeter. A little bit of roasted sausage just under the cheese, because this one is gonna be all covered of uh, fresh mozzarella. Perfect, done. Look at the color of these pizzas. Oh my God. Now let's go in the oven. Boom, three, three, two, one, pizza. Bada bam! Take a close shot of that beast. Oh man, oh man, let's see. That's it! <laughs> Here we go, the final touch, guys. The basil and the ghost pepper. So let's place it on the plate. Boom, boom, boom. Take a look, guys. Judge of this pizza, please. That's outstanding. Wow! Excited for number three. Let's go ahead, let's stretch. This is super strong, my God. What are you waiting for, guys? Go ahead, smash the like. Boom, 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 voila. That's it. This is the pizza al tartufo. La tartufata. Little bit of whipping cream on the bottom. Nice of mix of uh, mushroom as a base. Voila. Fresh mozzarella on top. Pecorino cheese, uh, extra virgin olive oil, voila. Let's go in the oven and let's finish up this one. Guys, I almost forgot, I didn't give the name. I didn't give the name to the first pizza, the second pizza. The second pizza, we call it the ghost pizza. The first pizza, we call it, we call it pastra pizza, pastra. because it was pastrami, yes. <laughs> okay, this is almost, almost ready. Three, two, one, and take a look of this beast. It's not over yet. We're gonna go ahead and finish the test. That's it. <laughs> I don't wanna press it too much. But this one from Sabatino Tartuffi, which is the best tar truffle company for myself. I love it because this one really gives the, ta the taste of the truffle on all pizza. You need just a little bit of this 
And voila guys, with this amount you can make uh, about 100 pizzas, that's enough, this is worth the price. Thank you so much, Sabatino Tartufi. You'll find the link below, they have so much ingredients, take a look, this is the honey. Because yes, on this pizza I'm going to put the honey. Now, a little bit of honey on top and then inside and the truffle done, let's give a nice color. and. Boom, 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 guys, so let's place it on the table and this pizza is ready to be served. Please let me know what you think. If you love truffle, please share this pizza with your truffle lover. Number four, guys. Uh, voila, put it down, take a look at this because I prepared a secret ingredient here, which is the purple potato sauce. So this pizza, we're gonna call it the purple rain, the purple rain, purple rain. Let's go ahead, let's do a base of purple potato cream. To make it like a little bit blue color, I put a, a pinch of uh, baking soda, that's it, which uh, makes uh, the color to go blue. So go ahead and put this even on top of the cross, right there, that's it. That's it, voila. With your fingers, go ahead and just lightly give it a nice, nice spread. Fresh mozzarella on top. Pulled beef, super good on the pizza. You have to try this. Voila. And now we put a, a drizzle of uh, rosemary to give it a nice flavor. Little bit of extra virgin olive oil. And ready to go on top of the oven. Like you can see here, I'm cooking with no flame because the oven is in temperature, the dough is at temperature, it's perfect and uh, lovely. Uh, I'm, I'm, super, I'm super excited, guys, I'm sorry, because I'm uh, always super happy to share the love, the passion of the pizza with you. Three, two, one, the purple rain, it's coming out! Boom, voila! Take a look of the color of this pizza, it's almost uh, green bluish we call this pizza the purple rosemary beef little bit of pecorino on top at the end place it on the table purple green pulled beef pizza with rosemary it sounds standing i mean take a look at the flavor the smell of this pizza is going to be huge the last the most my favorite one of the five gonna surprise you because this is insane voila Boom, voila, there we go. Green peas pizza. I made a cream of, uh, a sauce of peas and uh, extra. We're gonna go ahead and spread this as a sauce. It's beautiful, the color and the flavor. Fresh mozzarella on top, pecorino cheese, and uh, look at this, guanciale for you. The pork cheek, the cheek pork is this part of the, the pork, it's uh, super, Amazing, it's fat, mm, so flavorful. So let's go ahead and let's put it in the oven. My mouth is watering, guys. Boom, voila. Seriously, I can't wait to taste this one. There we go, three, two, one. Oh my God, I can't wait to taste this one. Take a look, guys. Add some blue cheese on top. This way it will melt it once it's cooling down. You have to try this at home because it's outstanding. Let's place it on the plate. I mean, take a look of this pizza. Lovely colors, lovely combination out of this world. My, one, my favorite one. The first one, the pastrami one. Second one, the ghost. Third one, the truffle. And the fourth one, the purple pizza. My favorite one, the green peas pizza. Tell me in the comment which one you like the best. Just finished to cut everything here. I'm gonna go ahead and taste. Gennaro, come here. Davide, you wait right there. I'm gonna taste my favorite, of course, which is this one right here. The flavor. Oh my God, my, my water literally is uh, it's watering. Oh my god, surprising, it's super good. Wow, Gennaro, come here. Which one you wanna taste? Yeah. The, you choose the pulled the beef, huh? And for you, Davide. Uh, so, 
pastrami. You try the pastrami, get it, get it, get it. Vai, vai, taste it, taste it, Gennaro, what do you think? What do you think? Mm, How is that, Gennaro? <laughs> Fantastic. Fantastic. Guys, we're gonna go ahead and serve the customer right there they are waiting for. And uh, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you the next one. Smash the like, tag your friends, and uh, share, 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 share. <laughs>